there she comes. Following her will in lane number seven will be Abby McDonald, 20 years of age, Ontario University All-Star for the University of Toronto. This is her first final of these Olympic trials. Bailey Erber, 18 years of age from Langley, BC, also excels in acting. She's already been in a few TV sitcoms. There's Avery Wiseman, I was talking about her, 19 years of age. Certainly on the map now is one of the better swimmers in the country. Kelsey Wog is the big favorite, lane number four, already nominated to the Olympic team for her efforts in the 100-meter breaststroke and the 200-meter individual medley out of Winnipeg. She just missed the team five years ago at the Rio Olympic trials. Kira Smith was the one that won those trials, went on to the Olympic Games and finished seventh and won a gold medal in this very pool at the 2015 Pan Am Games. Nina Kucheran, 20 years of age, from Sudbury, swimming for the MAC Markham Aquatic Club, uh, based at the other games pool that was built for the Pan Am Games in Markham. And a teammate, Nina Molin, who actually trains and lives in Chicago at this outside the Chicago area, final in the 200 meter individual medley earlier. Rounding out the field, Madeline Spencer, 18 years of age, from Toronto. She's afraid she's the last one being introduced. She ran to her block to get ready to go. <laughs> She'll be down at the bottom of the screen. And I think, Byron, worth mentioning, Sydney Pickram is not in this race. She won a bronze medal in this event at the 2019 World Championships and is pre-selected. That's a very good point. She ha she'll get to swim this event at the, at the Olympic Games anyway. Will Sydney? therefore, there's only one spot on the line here. If two women go under that FINA qualifying time, only one of them is going to be nominated to be on the Olympic team. This woman is certainly heavily favored, Kelsey Wog. Nine athletes prepare for the women's 200 meter breast, four laps of the pool. Take your marks. And a little bit of a slow start by Kiara Smith getting out of the blocks, the Rio finalist. And in lane number five, the first of the yellow lanes, that is a good start by Kelsey Wog as she goes right to the front, Byron. And what Kelsey's done so differently than a lot of other athletes is she does a lot of training just like anybody, but she does a, a ton of time in the weight room. Her coach Blaston O'Cherney believes in strength, so she'll swim from 8 to 10 in the morning, and then in the afternoon, every afternoon, she'll spend another two hours in the weight room. So she's a very strong woman in the water, and you'll be able to see that in the, probably the third and the fourth length if she starts to pull away. As she comes out of the water, pretty much the last one who does so, just slightly in the lead in lane five. Beside her in lane four is Avery Wiseman at a personal best, 226.9. There's Rob right there. Notice in breaststroke, the swimmers breathe every stroke. There's no reason to keep your head under the water like you do in some of the other strokes because your pressure of that pole is forcing your shoulders up. So if you're going to be up, you might as well get air because that's the limiting factor in your performance. Kelsey Wong makes the turn at the halfway point in 109.02. And also having a good swim, Byron, is Nina Kucherin in lane two. Very good swim for the 20-year-old 20 20-year-old 20 from Sudbury. There she is down at the bottom. You can see that. Again, a reminder, this is a 10-lane pool. They start with lane zero. So Nina is in lane number two. It's three from the bottom, but she's in lane number two. And a two lanes above her is lane number four, and that's Kelsey Wag. I mentioned she'd probably start to pull away on the third lane. That's exactly what's happening. Look at her kick, how wide it is. That's really, really exceptionally wide for a kick, but her legs are so strong, she's still able to push enough water. Most of the other swimmers have much smaller kicks than that. 145.9 as she's got less than 50 meters to go. Kelsey Wag trying to hit that Olympic A standard of 225.52. She's done it before. Her personal best is 222.4. And she's certainly on track to be able to get down under that standard handily. The question is, can she get to her best time of 222.4? Avery Wiseman is still solidly in second, but here comes Kira Smith making a big push at the very end with that very unique recovery breaststroke in the red cap. And it is Kelsey Watt's final meters reaching for the wall and gets there at 223.40. Kiara Smith comes back to take second in 225.73. And Avery Wiseman in third place. What a finish by uh, Kiara Smith, but a strong race by Kelsey Wag to take it just off her personal best. There's Kelsey Wag, there's mom and dad. 
cheering on very well. Kelsey Wog has gone on some high altitude training camps and it seems to really, really benefit her. She's done a couple of them with her coach, as I said, Blast and Sherney, and her career seemed to take off again in 2018 when after she had done some of those. No, notice the start, Kira Smith, really late. And you want to know what? She was a couple tenths late on that. She missed the FINA qualifying time by a couple of tenths. That start definitely hurt Kira Smith. But as we did say, and let me clarify, Sydney Pickram is pre-qualified for Canada in this event, as Rob pointed out at the beginning of the race. So therefore, there really was only one spot available, and it was pretty obvious who that one spot was going to be, and that's Kelsey Wong. Nobody else even in the picture is what I mean. See there, right there. Notice how wide that kick is. I mentioned that earlier. You gotta have a lot of strength to be able to do that and have your kick that wide. See the other swimmers, how much more narrow their kicks are. I know Kelsey, she's a bit of a perfectionist and she'll probably wish that she had done her best time, but you know what? Making that time under all the stress, knowing that you're now nominated in this event as well for the Olympic Games, is certainly going to be something to take consolation with. Well, that's a whole package of nominations, uh, Byron. 100 meter breast, 200 meter breast, 200 IM, a really versatile, strong swimmer. And Kelsey Wong is uh, the winner, and she is standing by with Devin. Thank you very much, Rob. Kelsey, good to see you again. Congratulations, adding another race to your Olympic roster. How does it feel? It's pretty good. Um, definitely not the time I was wanting, but uh, feels super good to touch first again. A lot of time in the gym, high altitude training. Uh, is it paying off for you right now in these pressure pack moments? Oh, for sure. All that training definitely um, helps me fight through these races. I think we've got your family on the big screen again. So we're <laughs> all together again here and, and we've got We've got some uh, mascots here tonight. Let's go to the family right now. Uh, Kelsey qualifying for another race at the Olympics. What did it look like from your vantage point? In the water. Good job, Kelsey. We love watching you. Do we get the story behind the mascot here? <laughs> it's my this pet. Is <laughs> this is Pierre. This is her pet chameleon. My pet chameleon. <laughs> Tell us about it, Kelsey. I mean, I've always loved reptiles, and uh, <laughs> the chameleon is my favorite. <laughs> Outstanding. Uh, let's talk about growing up in Winnipeg, hometown, but you had to travel all over throughout this pandemic to find a pool, to be able to train. How difficult was that? Yeah, it was pretty difficult and stressful trying to figure out where I was going to train the next day, but um, since January, I've been able to train at home in Winnipeg, and it's been it's been awesome. Sport is so much about resilience. How resilient are you? How, mu how much have you learned about yourself throughout all of this? Yeah, I've learned a lot about how badly I want to swim and how much I love it. Outstanding. And I know your parents have uh, enjoyed this journey as well. Any last thoughts for Kelsey as we say goodnight to you guys? Well, great swim and, and good luck. Great stuff. Thanks for doing this, Kelsey. Congratulations. Thank you. Rob Byron back.